Master Kenway. Master Kenway. Yes, may I help you? Charles Lee, sir. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce you to the city, help you settle in. Oh, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to the inn. Are you by any chance John and Isabella's son? One and the same. Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? Aye. But he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might... Well, at least until he arrives, I thought... Yes? Out with it? Forgive me, sir. I had... I had hoped that I might study under you. If I am to serve the Order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Kind of you to say, but I think you overestimate me. Impossible, sir. This way. Thief! Someone stop him! I can't stop no thief. I gotta stick with Charles Lee. Boston's quite a lively city. There's all manner of things to see and do. Once you've settled in, I suggest you take some time to walk the streets. Who knows what opportunities you might discover. Hold a moment. We need to fetch a few things before we get to work. I'll arrange for horses while you do that. All right, let's go. Okay, that works. Damned Spriggs. This accursed city will be the death of me. You seem troubled, friend. That's because I am. Greatly so, in fact. What's happened? I was robbed. The old Balkan file. Though I've managed to restore what's mine, I fear it's ruined. You mean the book? This is no ordinary book. It's an almanac. The first I ever wrote. <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin, pleased to meet you. Haytham Kenway. You must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? You're still possessed of virtue. <laughs> to stop and help an old lout like myself. I... I don't mean to impose, but you seem a spry fellow. Should you happen to find my missing pages, I'll reward you. Look, I'm not sure if I... It's all right, all right. If you have the time, hurrah! If not, no harm done. The thing is useless in its current state anyway. But, should you somehow manage to restore it, you'll find me inside that general store over there. Well, that was interesting. Yeah, but except I'm not gonna find no almanac pages as hate them. For now, let's just enter into this general store. Good to see you, my friend. And buy a sword and a pistol. Let's see, normal weapons. Normal sword, about 700. What are these called, these? Funds? Firearms? Flintlock pistol for about 2,000. Or oh, was it 2,000 or was it 150? Oh, that was 2,000. I just lost all my money there. All right, now let's exit out of here. Okay, R1. Okay, so we gotta equip this and equip this, right? I already did. What did I do wrong? Then I... Oh, maybe I didn't. It's already equipped. Bruh. Hold R1 to open to tool release. Oh my god. Oh, because... There. Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting how to do that. Mount. We ride for the Green Dragon Tavern. The proprietors are eccentric, but the rooms are spacious and they do not pry. Have you been told why it is I've come to Boston? No. Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? Aye. William Johnson waits for us at the Green Dragon. How well do you know him? Not well, but he saw the Order's mark and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to our cause, and you may yet know our plans as well. I should like nothing more, sir. All right, so we're just following Lee to the Green Dragon. And also pushing other civilians out of the way. All right, 
that looks like that's the place. Because it has a dragon on top of it. Whoa! I heard something. Oh, there's an almanac. I even said I don't want to collect almanacs. Uh, I'm not going to chase after it now. A favor. Let's open it. You lying, cheating, no good son of a bitch. Perhaps we've come at a bad time. Oh, don't be foolish, dearies. Please, sit. Fancy something to eat? A drink, perhaps? Or is it a bed you require? We've already let rooms here. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> of course. Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? Uh, I'll have your bags brought up. Uh. Do you require anything further? Only privacy. This way! And we're getting new weapons in the shop already? I'm pretty sure in one of those rooms there's actually a chest in there. But I don't think you can get it as Haytham, I think you get it as Connor. So basically later on in the game... Sir! William Johnson! We finally meet. A pleasure. A good lad. If a bit earnest. I'm told you're putting together an expedition. We believe there's a precursor site in the region. I require your knowledge of the land and its people to find it. Sadly, my research has been stolen. Without it, I'm of no use to you. Then we'll find it. Do you have any leads? My associate, Thomas Hickey, has been making the rounds. He's quite good at loosening tongues. Well, tell me where I can find him. I'll see if I can't speed things up. We've heard rumors of bandits operating from a compound southwest of here. You'll likely find him there. Charles? Sir. We'd best be off. Of course. Yeah, we're about to meet Thomas Hickey. Oh, wait a minute. There's a conversation. Let's hear it once again. Tell me about yourself, William. What's to tell? I was born in Ireland to Catholic parents, which I learned early in life severely limited my opportunities. So I converted to Protestantism and journeyed here at the behest of my uncle. But I fear my uncle Peter was not the swiftest of men. He sought to open trade with the Kanyan Gahaga, but chose to build his settlement away from the trade routes instead of on them. I tried to reason with the man, but... As I said, not the swiftest. So, I took what little money I'd earned and bought my own little plot of land. I built a home, a farm, a store, and a mill. Humble beginnings, but well situated, which made all the difference. So this is how you came to know the Mohawk? Indeed, and it has proved a valuable relationship. With still no mention from your contacts of the Precursor site? No hidden temple or ancient constructs? Yes and no. Which is to say, they had their fair share of sacred sites. Earthen moons, forest clearings, hidden caves. But nothing matching what you describe. No strange metals, no... Odd glows. Hmm. It is well hidden. Even to them, it seems. But cheer up, my friend. You'll have your precursor treasure. I swear it. To our success, then. And soon. Another conversation? I gotta Should do not it. be much longer. I'll let you know as soon as I have something. I hope you're right, Haytham. I should return to my studies. Yeah, I just want to hear all the conversation once again, and let's just, can't even run out of here, so I'm gonna have to regular walk out of here. Can I walk fast at least? Nope. Alright. Uh, let's just slowly walk our way to the door. And apparently it says follow Charles Lee when the fact he's all the way back there with William Johnson. Alright, here we go. We're about to meet with Thomas Hickey. Johnson's Aaron. Thomas Hickey? Who's asking? Haytham Kenway. 
Is that supposed to mean something? Show some respect, boy. Peace, Charles. William Johnson sent us in the hopes we might expedite your search. We don't need no expediting. Don't need none of your fancy London speak, neither. I found the men that done the theft. Then why are you just lazing around? Figuring out how to deal with those varlets. I have an idea. Will let's hear it. I'll kill the lookout, take up a position behind the guards. Uh, you two, approach from the front. When I open fire on the group, you charge in. We'll have the element of surprise on our side. Half will fall before they've even realized what's happened. Get into position. But wait for me to take the first shot. Okay. Oh yeah, I gotta reload. Oh, kill 10 mercenaries using firearms? Uh, we're using a pistol. Oh, hold up. He left this pistol. Or his musket. That's not even a pistol, it's a musket. Go on now, before you make us mad. Uh, how do you drop? How do you drop? Drop. Get another pistol. Oh, man. Listen, Thomas Hickey, there's a lot of muskets around here. Oh, I dropped one. Oh, got another one. And there's a lot of pistols everywhere, or muskets. Sorry, my bad. Get off of him. Wait, there's more? I see two people on the map. I don't see them at all. Right, let me get your musket. <laughs> you know, I, screw reloading. Oh, that's a dummy. That's a dummy, dude. All right, drop that. Get another one. Oh my God! What are these? What the hell? All those mercenaries are right there. Fall back! Fall back! We'll be safe inside. What now? We can blow the door with those. Go on, shoot them. I literally forgot how to drop a musket in this game. Okay. Aim. <laughs> on with your oh, shoot, then. shoot. Wait, I gotta reload first. So I just need four more firearms and I should be able to get this optional Guess they wasn't so safe inside after all. Oh, I guess not. All right, let me loot this chest. Or pick, is it pickpocket? Or pick up object, my bad. Lay down your weapons and I'll consider letting you live. I make you the same offer. We've no quarrel. I only wish to return this chest to its rightful owner. Nothing rightful about Mr. Johnson. I won't ask again. Agreed. Oh, they're gonna teach me how to do quick shot. I think it's triangle if I remember. Quick shot! Ooh. Oh, she got a reload. Reload, reload, reload. Get out of here. Oh my gosh. Put the load in your gun. Oh, they're just going. Yo, I shot him as he hit the ground. What the heck? Your kind has no need for books and maps. Who put you up to this? Never seen a person. It's always been dead drops and letters. But they always pay, so we do the jobs. Well. Those days are done. Tell your masters I said as much. Who should I say you are? You don't. They'll know. Kind of left your pistol behind, man. Hey, Fum. This one's got some shot on him. You might want to be grabbing it on account of your pistol being parched. Yeah, sure. Back to the green dragon then. Oh, uh, don't I need a drink. Key. Lose more than half their health. All right. Wait, I should get a musket. Oh man, there's a there's a lot of musket through here. Okay, there's supposed to be people coming here. Or maybe, Careful, yep. gents. We've come. Yeah, we do. Don't let go of the chest, Charles. Oop. We'll Shot take him. care of this rebel. Oh, what the heck? Bruh, get off me. 
want to hit me? Get another musket. Wait, them bodies is sure to have loot on them. Would be a shame to let it all go to waste. Are you mad? In case you've forgotten, we're in the midst of something. Aw, why is you always got to go and spoil the sport? I'm curious, can you like run and then hopefully they can keep, keep up with me? Nah, all right. Maybe I can go ahead of them and actually lure some guards, some mercenaries. Yep, like right now. That's that shot. Drop that. Get another one. Oh, you miss. Did you? Oh my gosh, that was so brutal. Get another gun. Screw reloading. We don't have time to reload. Kind of miss. I got you. Get another gun. <laughs> uh, he's reloading. He's reloading. Oh, I can't even see. I hope whatever's in this chest is worth it. Come on now. It's just a few fools with knives. They ain't so tough. It's not the scoundrels I'm concerned with. All right. I'm gonna go ahead, guys. You guys can take your time. I'm gonna go lure some mercenaries out. Oh, like right now? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Take the top ones out. Got you. Oh, he was trying to shoot while I stabbed him on the ground. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get that. Whoa. Whoa. What the? That's an invisible musket. <laughs> I don't even have a mu oh shoot okay no time to fool around I need I can't reload I need another musket here oh this needs to be reload screw it use your pistol oh another reload oh my gosh there we go alright don't miss the shot come on come on Mr. Johnson's gonna need to double my pay after all this if he expects me to keep at his side. That was an invisible musket. I literally killed someone with an invisible musket. I must have picked up the musket too fast, and that's what happened there. There you are. My thanks, Master Kenway. No. Tell me what it is you need. The images on this amulet, are they familiar to you? Perhaps one of the tribes has shown you something similar. It appears Kanye and Gahaga in origin. Can you trace it to a specific location? I need to know where it came from. With my research returned, perhaps. Let me see what I can do. Thomas! What? Rent yourself a room. And a bath as well. I suspect we'll be here for a while. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go back here and talk to a few members. I gotta talk to Thomas Hickey. I think I need to talk to William Johnson. But once again, let me talk to Thomas Hickey just to know his backstory, I guess. If I could talk to him. There we Any go. news? Whispers of things. Nothing solid at the moment. I know you're looking for word of anything out of the ordinary. Dealing with temples and spirits and ancient times and whatnot. But so far, can't say my boys have heard much. No trinkets or artifacts being moved through your shadow market? Nothing new. Couple of ill-gotten weapons, some jewelry likely lifted from a living thing. But you said to listen for talk of glows and ums and strange sights, right? And I ain't heard nothing about that. Keep at it. Oh, I will. You done me a great service, mister. And I fully intend to repay my debt, thricefold if it pleases. Thank you, Thomas. 
place to sleep and meal to eat is thanks enough. Don't you worry. I'll get you sorted soon. Oh, he has another conversation. When I know something, you'll know something. I have to, like, go behind Got no him. office to give at current. When I do, you'll be the first to hear it. Alright, that's it. I don't think William Johnson has a conversation. Next on the list. Evening, gentlemen. Charming. Oh, peace, Charles. He'll grow on you. Oi! Catherine, you fussock! Get back here! Taddy needs a drink! How fares the search? Maths and maps are not cutting it. What of your local contacts? We'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they know. <clears throat> oh, I have an idea on how we might be affecting that. There's a man who's taken to enslaving natives. Rescue them, and they'll owe us. <laughs> Do you know where they're being held? Afraid not. Benjamin Churchwell. He's a finder and a fixer. He's also on your list. And there I was, wondering whom I might solicit next. Well done. Now I'm pretty sure there should be more conversations added. So let's talk to William Johnson. Oops. Oop, come on. Uh, gave me the rule to talk. Damn, this from this business far? business Silas confuses me. If Britain stands any chance of pushing back the French, they must ally with the natives, not enslave them. Silas is loyal only to his purse. That his actions harm the crown is irrelevant. So long as there are buyers for his product, he'll continue to procure it. All the more reason to stop him, then. My days are spent in Congress with the locals, attempting to convince them that we're the ones they should trust, that the French are merely using them as tools to be abandoned once they've won. Your words must lose their strength when held against the reality of Silas' actions. I've tried to explain that he does not represent us, but he wears the red coat. He commands a fort. I must appear to them either a liar or a fool. Likely both. Take heart, brother. When we deliver them his head, they'll know your words were true. All right, cool. Now let's talk to Charles Lee. Do you like it here, Charles? There's a certain charm to Boston, I suppose. To all of the colonies, really. Granted, their cities have none of London's sophistication or splendor, but the people are earnest and hardworking. They've a pioneer spirit I find compelling. It's quite something, really, watching a place that's finally found its feet. Has it, though? The French still wage war from up north, and I fear the Spanish have designs upon this place as well. Is this a new world, or just another battlefield? Ah, that's a story old as time itself, and one that's not like to change. We're cruel and desperate creatures, set in our conquering ways. The Saxons and the Franks, the Ottomans and Safavids. I could go on for hours. The whole of human history is but a series of conflicts and subjugations. A desire for more and more, and more. I pray one day we rise above it. Whilst you pray, I'll act. We'll see who finds success first, hmm? It was an expression. Aye, and a dangerous one. Words have power. Wield them wisely. Yeah, probably throughout there was a bad camera angle. Oh, here we go. I've some work I should finish. Let us speak later. Sorry, sir. I'm a bit busy at the moment. Oh, okay. Well, in the meantime, we gotta walk out of here once again. Can't run or walk. <laughs> or fast walk, my bad. And I ain't not playing any dice games, any mini games. So here we go. He just casually... Wait. Oh. Sequence 2, the surgeon. You see, I always thought that Benjamin Church just like lives right across from the bar. The green tavern I meant. Or the green dragon. Oh. 
Wonderful. Charles Lee ain't got no patience. Charles? Sir? Seems like we're not the only ones looking for Mr. Church. Damn it, he could be anywhere. What do we do? We find him. Come. I'll show you how. <laughs> By carving his, uh... Painting so he knows what he looks like. Okay. Let's go. Oh, can't run. Yeah, I'm even holding the trigger. I'm trying to walk fast. Can't run here. Should we write his family, do you think? Not our business to meddle. Even if we've the best of intentions. But if you could have seen it, they were surely drunk carrying on like that, and during the day, no less. Oh, they seen me. This is where they teach you how to blend, I guess? Or eavesdrop. Eavesdrop, yeah. I'm trying to move. Okay, there we go. Scandalous behavior from one who aims to be a surgeon. Not likely if he keeps up such carousing. Truly a shameful display. Benjamin's parents would be mortified. Perhaps I should send someone to retrieve him. Before he damages his reputation beyond repair. They stumbled off to the northeast, no doubt in search of a tavern or some other place of ill repute. Start questioning those on the street. I'm headed for higher ground. All right, climb the church. It's kind of fun. It's like a play on words. We're looking for Benjamin Church while we climb on a church. Um. Oh no, not that way. Think over here. Yeah. Let me see if I can vault. Yeah, vaulting over fences. Fourteen meters to climb. Here we go. And now synchronize. Wait, this is our first synchronize? I thought we synchronized where we're on the Time the to captain take a ship. Listen. Oh With man. Luck, one of those Careful. people knows what became of Benjamin. I'm um, out to need that window girl. Them and I'll not deign to grovel. Actions speak louder than words, my friend. Arrest one and put him in stocks. See if he's so glib then. To do so without cause will set them singing songs about us. Last thing the city needs is town criers complaining about our abuse of authority. Then forget it. The crime is done. The killer's gone. Those who know won't share their secrets. If the city wishes to harbor scoundrels, let them pay the price for it. Cool, I don't even know how I was blending throughout all that. And I just got out of blend right there. I think I heard something shiny around there. Well, I don't have time to worry about that. Have to eavesdrop. So he's his church. But one way or another, the debt would be settled. I don't envy the man. He's grim times ahead. Well, what do you think they're planning? All I know is it can't be good. Probably looking for a nice, quiet place to do the deed. 
From what I hear tell, his work usually involves quite a bit of screaming. Which reminds me, we'd best not buy any meat to the road. <laughs> Good call, that. Okay. Oh, oh, almost knocked those guards. <laughs> I was trying to get right through them. Oh, see, that would have happened if I would have knocked through these guards. So, luckily, I didn't. That didn't happen at all. Oh, more guards. What the heck? I asked if I could help, and they waved me away. Insisted it was all under control. How odd! Did they say what had happened? No. Only that it was a trifling matter, and he'd be returned home soon. There was some blood, though. So I wonder if it wasn't more serious than they let on. Where were they taking him? Towards the hilltop. Perhaps there's a doctor at the fort. They're not even talking to each other. What the heck? All right, let's go, Charles Lee. We found Benjamin's church location. See, Charles? We'll have church in no time, just as I said we would. If I might ask, sir, where did you learn to do all this? It is a requirement when you are raised in the manner that I was. Careful. Place is well guarded. We need to slip past them. I'm about to climb up here. Because Charles Lee, you can get detected, but I cannot. I have to remain undetected throughout all this. Okay, let's see if I can land that. Oh, he saw me. They saw me. Oh, Charles Lee, you gotta stay close with me, man. About to get detected here. Damn, you climbed too? Alright. Locked. Hmm. I'll have to find the key. Wait here. Oh man, okay. It's gotta remain undetected. Okay, here we go. Oop. Oh man. Now I have to wait since I messed that up. I can't even tell if uh, his red alert status. It, okay. Okay, okay. Land that. Climb up here. Oh, hello. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna turn. We're just having an awkward stare at each other. Right. Oh, what the frick? I guess you're not supposed to run there. That's what happened there. I'm trying to steal a key from you, man. Bro, just forget what you saw, man. Just turn away. Let me loot the key. And let's get this sequence over or memory over with. Okay. Now oh, this is the tricky part. Looting. Oh, gotta get closer. Got the key! Bro, oh shoot! Bro, I ain't looting forever. He would have turned around by then. Here we are then. Why must you always make these things so difficult, Benjamin? Merely provide me with recompense and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Clearly, you do require protection. Else we wouldn't be here. How very gutch. Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe. I'll take his hands. Put an end to his surgery. Maybe. I'll take his tongue. Put an end to his waggling. Or maybe I'll take his cock. <laughs> Put an end to his fucking us. So many options. I can't possibly decide. Take all three. No, hold a moment. Perhaps I was hasty in refusing you earlier. I'm so very sorry, Benjamin. But that door has closed. Be reasonable, Silas! I rather think I was, but you took advantage of my oh. generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. <sighs> a 
I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas, do you hear me? I'll have your head! No. I rather think you won't. <clears throat> I'm proud of it. Hold still a minute. I'm to decide where to start. A little bit from here, a little bit from there. You ain't cutting him at all. I'm not gonna hear the whole entire conversation because I don't know if he was gonna kill Benjamin Church, Who? even though you did mark him. Who are you? Hatham Kenway, at your service. I... I, I don't understand. Why are you here? Walk with me, Mr. Church, and all will be explained. Alright, that was the surgeon. And once again, I'm pretty sure that almanac is just right. You know, I'm gonna collect that right now. Come here. Got you. All right, Charles Lee, collecting the almanac. What is about to happen? Making friends is easy. Let's do it. <laughs> Johnson's told me what you intend. As it happens, the man who held me is the same one that you seek. His name is Silas Thatcher. That fancy lad is our slaver. Don't let his velvet tongue deceive you. A crueler and more vicious creature I've never known. What can you tell me of his operation? He hosts at least a hundred men, more than half of whom are redcoats. All this for some slaves? <laughs> Hardly. The man's a commander in the King's troop, in charge of the Southgate Fort. We need to find a way inside. Hmm, let me think on it. In the meantime, I'll attend to our final recruit. John Pitcairn's our man. I'll take you to him. I believe this should be our last recruit. Soldier. State your business. New recruit. More kindling for the pyre, eh? Well, go on then. How'd you manage that? Did you forget, sir? My commission is with General Brad. When I'm not attending to you, of course. One good reason. I shouldn't kill you right now. Were you planning to announce yourself? Or did you hope my men Sir, wouldn't notice your arrival? If you'll allow me to explain. Ho <laughs> ho! By all means. I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal, and you might be spared the gallows. I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir, it's... It's the sort of thing best not put to paper. Hate them. General Braddock? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. Master Pitcairn won't be here for but a few weeks. I shall return him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. It's bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. But they said nothing about this traitor. You'll not have him. Edward, listen to reason. We're done here. See these gentlemen out. Well, that didn't go so well. Well, that didn't go as I expected. And to think I used to call him brother. 
What now? They'll chase us off if we try and return. We're done with this camp. As luck would have it, so are they. Come along. What are you planning? To steal Master Pitcairn. What? You'll see. Now, when I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. All right, Charles Lee's gonna go up ahead. I'm just gonna regular walk so I don't like get detected by any of these British patrol. All right, let me go up ahead now. Yeah, I got 50 seconds to get there. Where should we head next? Perhaps down Marlborough? No. Its residents are too content. Their homes are nice, their days untroubled. One of Lynn or Ship Street? Yes. Those fresh arrived are often soon in dire straits. They're more likely to seize upon an opportunity to fatten their purses and feed their young. He's over here blending now. Oh, no, no, no don't blend. No, 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 stop blending. I don't want to blend right now. Okay, I'm out to walk fast. I'm about to lose the patrol here. All right. Okay, just hang loose here or blend. Charles Lee. The French forces. Oi! You thieves and scoundrels, one and all! Fire on you and your false war! <laughs> you should have done that. <laughs> After him! But it was a distraction. Oh, get out of my way. Hey, get out of my way, soldiers. Ugh. Red coats. Unhand him, Edward. Uh, you again. Let us go. And John Pitt can with us. <laughs> I will not have my authority challenged. Nor I. Put them all in chains. Where's the where's the snitch? Ah, crap. The ah! Snitch. All right, you want to run away from me? I don't think so, bro. Whoa! I can't. I was trying to take my sword out. What the frick? Back off, bro. Oh my gosh. Damn, where did the, your other soldiers go, man? I stayed my hand today because you were once my brother. And a better man than this. Or should our paths ever cross again? All debts will be forgotten. You're free now, John. Traitor! Go on, then. Join them on their fool's errand. And when you find yourself lying I assume broken, you've good reason for causing all this madness. <laughs> what is it you require of me? I'll explain everything on the way. Just ignore what he has to say. <laughs> yeah, that drummer thinks he was going to be about to call for reinforcements. I had to shoot him. Otherwise, I would not get the full sync there. I was trying to assassinate him, but I didn't know where he was at, so let's just open this door. Let's talk to our few members once again. Oh man, why can I not run or walk fast? All right, let's talk to John Pitcairn. Oh, we have a lot of conversation. Let's talk, let's if talk I to may, John Pitcairn. If I may, I was curious about your past with Braddock. You two clearly have a history. Edward was one of us upon a time. 
I considered him a close friend. He was brave and bold in ways few men are. But everything changed at the siege of Bergen op Zoom. We had lost the fortress to the French and were in the midst of egress. There was a skiff hidden at the port with which we planned to make our escape. As we drew near, a young man and his family came upon us, begging for safe passage. I consented, but Edward refused. The young man called him Craven then. So Edward killed him and all the rest, even the children. To this day, I don't know why. Was this the first time he'd struck out? Or had I simply never seen it before? Either way, things were never the same after that. We campaigned together a few more times, but each outing was more disturbing than the last. He killed and killed. Enemy or ally, civilian or soldier, guilty or innocent. It mattered not. If he perceived one to be an obstacle, they died. He maintained that violence was a more efficient solution and became his mantra. And it broke my heart. I had no idea. He hides it well and intimidates into silence any who discover him. Those who persist have a tendency to find misfortune. And we should stop him. I suppose you're right. But I maintain a foolish hope that he might yet be saved and brought back round to reason. I know, I know. It's a silly thing to believe that one so drenched in death might suddenly change. I'm sorry to have brought us up. It was not my intent to sour you. Nonsense. We are brothers now. There should be no secrets between us. Oh, got to talk I to hope again. you and the general find a way to patch things up. Don't let me keep you, sir. I'm sure you have more important things to do. Well, right now I'm just hearing the conversations. I think I need to talk to Benjamin Church. Oh, dang, I was like right there. Oh my gosh, come on. There we so, go. a question for you. Why medicine? I'm supposed to tell you I care for my fellow man, right? That I chose this path because it allows me to accomplish the greater good. Are these things not true? Perhaps. But that's not what guided me, no. For me, it was a less abstract thing. I like money. There are other paths to fortune. Aye. But what better where to peddle than life? Nothing else is as precious more so desperately crazy. And no price is too great for the man or woman who fears an abrupt and permanent end. Your words are cruel, Benjamin. But true as well. You took an oath to help people, did you not? I abide the oath which makes no mention of price. I merely require compensation, fair compensation for my services. And if they lack the required funds? Then there are others who will serve them. Does a baker grant free bread to a beggar? Does the tailor offer a dress to the woman who cannot afford to pay? No. Why should I? You said it yourself. Nothing is more precious than life. Indeed. All the more reason one should ensure they have the means to preserve it. I've some ledgers to review. Do you mind if we speak later? Sorry, Haytham, but I'm in the midst of something. Not really. But I, on the other hand, am in the midst of something too. I have to talk to Charles Lee. Infiltrating South Gate. Gentlemen, I believe I found the solution to our problem. Or rather, Odysseus has. How do you? Are you a new guy? The Greek hero, you lobcock. Allow me to explain. We enter Silas Fort, 
under the pretext of kinship. Once inside, we spring our trap, free the captives, and kill the slaver. <laughs> dodgy, dodgy. I like it. Then, let us begin. First, we need to find ourselves a convoy. That's it. We need to find ourselves a convoy. It's like, there's no plan after that. Have to make the plan happen here. Oh, there's the convoy. Convoy should be here soon. We'll attack on my signal. Understood, sir. If we time this right, we can catch them all unawares. The Silver Fox offers all travelers the finest fare. <laughs> Use that as a distraction. Oh, this pick up a web all oh, the oh why am I crouching like this what am I supposed to do attack the convoy oh man I don't even know what the hell I did whoa you dropped the gun oh oh wait what the oh he used his sword to assassinate and I took hit Get the hell off of me Takes care of that. Charles, you and Williams serve as vanguard. Let no man reach us. What about me? You and John will follow from a distance and keep watch over us. I'll signal you when I have need of your services. We're here to help you, along with those held inside Southgate Fort. Free me. Not until we're inside the gate. I can't chance an inspection of the gate going wrong. I'll see you safe. You have my word. Has your neighbor the mother of Connor <laughs> and the father. Do you know anything of Silas' operation? How many men we might expect? The nature of their defenses? You must be rather important to him if you were given your own escort. Sir, we've enemies ahead. Shall I engage them? No. Let Jonathan and Thomas take care of it. As you wish. I wish you'd trust us. Though I suppose it's only natural for you to be wary. So be it. It didn't even give me the option to actually press a certain button to assassinate. Hope! Identify your dog! Where is Lieutenant Jones? What's the meaning of this? It's time to use the assassin signal here. Engage the enemy! Goddamn dogs! Let no man reach us! Looks like you're to meet the Reaper! Got more guards up ahead. Aha! Bringing fresh meat, eh? Hey? On Come your here. guard, man. Take a look at your sight. Of course. Oh my God, she was almost. Only alerted. say the word, and I'll cut them down. One moment, there. Me and you. Who's your officer?
Engage the enemy! Yo, is anyone gonna take that guy out? Okay, there we go. He was pointing a musket. All clear! Wait, where are they going? <laughs> They're trying to hitch a ride or something? Good evening, gentlemen. State your business. Delivery for Silas. Go on. See? I'm freeing you just as I said I would. Now, if you'll allow me to explain. <laughs> She's out of here. Let her go. But she'll give us away. No, she won't. What's the plan? Free the captives and avoid detection. What of Silas? He dies. All right, here we go. Make no when you're ready to strike. Okay, so find and kill the general, and perform three stealth assassination from corner spots, and that is gonna... That's not actually being very stealth. So here's the general, right? Oh. See, I try to use um, Eagle Vision. I think I have to. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, I don't think I can blend. I'm trying to walk. Oh, there's another. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. So now. Whoa! What the heck? Okay, I can't whistle. So I might lure those guards, so I think I'll have to probably be patient here. Okay, I got my hidden blade. Assassinate. Come here! Alright, the general's down. Now for to assassinate these guards from a corner spot. It's a tricky Ooh, part. What are you soldier. talking about? Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't do that. Don't do that. Come over here. I right, got you. Right, free the captives. Just gotta take my time here. Yeah, that one. I mean, can I just do this? Right? I must say, the weather in Boston is You're free, man. Clearly, don't bother Clyde. I'm over here. Oh. Oh, they're checking out a body. Come on. Oh, gosh. Okay, just one more corner assassination. Where's this guy at? Okay, he's right there. Is he gonna turn? Okay, if I whistle, he's gonna be right there. Wait. I think he's gonna come back over here. Okay, yeah. Alright, here he comes. He's coming back. Right, just wait right here. And assassinate! Whoa! Oh, okay, I thought that guy was gonna turn around, but I guess not. Alright, that's all the corner spots. Alright, do not run, because last time that guy on the rooftop saw me. And there we go. All the captives. Yum, yeah, let me walk with these guys. 
part never mind goes to black screen. An hour of quiet was all I asked. Instead, I'm awakened not ten minutes later by this cacophonous madness. I expect an explanation, and it had best be good. How? How did this happen? My precious merchandise set free! It's unacceptable! Rest assured, I'll have the heads of those responsible. But first, first we clean up this mess! Seal the fort, kill any who try to escape. I don't care if they be one of us or one of them. To approach the gate is to be made a corpse. Am I understood? And they don't even say anything. <laughs> Push them back. Oh, they're gonna teach us how to yeah, use a body for defense. The hell off me. I'll deal with this, sir. There's two for you to Oh, careful. Oh, yeah, they're about to shoot there. Get out of my way! <laughs> I just gotta assassinate Silas Thatcher here. That's why I'm here. Kill the intruders. Glad to have you with I can't assassinate. I could use some help. I'll fill it you like a god. Well, that's the end of you, man. Oh, I got hit. Who are you? Name's Hatham Kenway. You don't know me, but I believe the two of you are well acquainted. I made a promise to you, Silas. One I intend to keep. Dang. Want a revenge from his nose. <laughs> and the captives return to their land, their homeland. I'll be seeing you soon. What happens now? We wait. But not for very long, I suspect. Yeah, I did kind of mess that up towards the end. But that is the end of sequence two. Sequence two is complete. It's been several weeks now since we freed the Mohawk prisoners from captivity. I had hoped their leader might make contact, but there's been only silence. My men grow restless. They want to know what comes next, and I do not have an answer. Lee alone remains active, pursuing leads however slight. He stalks the city streets and scouts the bordering woods, hopeful that he might make contact with one of those we saved. There was a woman there that night. It was she who helped the others to safety. If we can find her, I believe I'll have my answers. So, I watch and wait, hopeful that my true mission might finally begin. <laughs>